Hello, and thank you for joining me. I've just got back from Partizan, or technically the other Partizan. They have two a year, and this is the second one for 2019. I've never been before, and I only decided to go at the last minute. Uh, it's about an hour and a 20 minutes drive, so not too bad, and the road's pretty good, particularly on a Sunday. So uh, I went across. Uh, the venue's nice. It's in a... Uh, big exhibition hall in the Newark showground. There's plenty of free parking uh, and in the hall itself there's a very good mix of trade stands and games. Mostly demonstration games, one or two participation games. Um, I went across in the hope of picking up some bits and pieces for my projects uh, and I succeeded there. Uh, I got a 6mm French armour. Um, oh, the light's reflecting on that badly, isn't it? 6mm French army um, for a new project that uh, I'm looking at uh, on the War of the Spanish Succession. Um, I've got enough projects going on at the moment, but this one uh, I might be doing with a friend, so it, uh, it might make completing a little bit easier. Um, I also found that uh, Foundry were going to be there, so I got uh, two more blisters of um, Hittite Spearmen. There was an offer on, so instead of £12 a pack, these were £10 a pack. So uh, we'll add those into the, the Hittite project. Um, so that was a success. Uh, I also found out that... Uh, Old Glory were going to be there. And I thought I'd have a look at some of the Blue Moon Seven Years' War uh, French cavalry. I haven't got enough uh, of my own from the old range of Old Glory figures. So I thought I'd get some of these and see how they mixed in, if they mix in at all. So I've had a quick look and it looks like they might be a bit bigger. So. It might not work, as I hope, but I, I, I live in hope, and we'll see if it, it works its, it out in the end. Um, this is a bag of troopers, a, a Chevalier Command, and then three... Uh, well, the third bag is a bag of French generals. Uh, the only thing I'd be missing for my Seven Years' War French uh, would then be some artillery, but... Uh, I forgot about those when I was there today. Uh, and the final thing, I well no, not the final thing. Um, I got some extra bases from wall bases, so 60 by 60s and 60 by 30s and some of these 60 millimeter diameter round ones. And this is the final thing. I picked up a couple of paints. I picked up a uh, flash wash. Um, and this stone golem, which is a grey. Now this is a little bit of a risk. I've had some of these pens before and, I, and the, the finish on some of them is a bit glossy, a bit shiny. Uh, I used to think that was because I didn't shake them enough, but I've almost shaken my hand off with some of these and I'm still getting a glossy result. So I'm going to try this on something. I'm, I'm looking for a paint that will work for the French without having to mix it. Um, and I'm hoping that might do it. Uh, you can never be sure how they dry it with colour anyway, but that's what I'm hoping. And when I was there, I, I went around and took some photographs of some of the games, and I'll put those up in a moment. Uh, I didn't take any video. Uh, my hands wobble too much. Um, but I hope uh, it gives you an idea of what there was. I'll, I'll put a commentary on it as I'm there were many high quality tables here at the show, a lot of them I didn't take pictures of, but here are a few that caught my eye. And the first is in Ireland in 1798, uh, a really interesting table with lots and lots of pike-armed Irish peasants supported by a very few French against the British redcoats. This is a table I have seen pictures of in the trade press. 
uh, but never in, I don't look at it in the flesh, so to speak. Uh, a lovely representation of ancient Britons and Romans fighting it out. This third table is on the American Revolution, or American War of Independence. Uh, lovely figures, but I was particularly struck by the way they sculpted the hills. It's a thick cloth draped across uh, boxes or, or something. It really looked very effective. I was very impressed. There were two tables using Beneath the Lily Banners rules by Barry Hilton. In fact, uh, I think he was there. Um, this first one is focused on the Great Northern War with Swedes against Russians and the second is on the more familiar territory, to me at least, of the Jacobite uh, and Williamite Wars in Ireland. Um, I'm quite impressed by these rules and when my Jacobite and Williamite projects finish these are the rules I intend to use. This next table is an Ancients game massive table, maybe 12 foot long, maybe even a bit more. Republican Romans against Seleucids. Just the sheer number of figures on the table was impressive. Um, the only bit of terrain I could see was a small temple in one corner that had no impact on the game at all. I think this is a chain of command game. I, I can't remember exactly, but I was quite taken by the little tanks running around. Um, yeah, they've done it quite well, and the railway is quite impactive. And finally, of the tables I took pictures of, uh, there's this one, set in the Sudan, with hordes of natives attacking a square as it attempts to go down the table to safety. Um, whether it made it or not, I don't know, I didn't go back to find out, but uh, it looked quite impressive. Well that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting and thank you for watching.